early Wednesday morning, a Beaumont police officer finishing his ship came upon a wrecked truck and a broken fence on the Bell Road near Front. No one was near the truck, and that ignited the search for 21-year-old Taylor Fannin. We've called hospitals. We have been in contact with family, friends, roommates, uh, anybody who would know uh, him, anybody that he would call if he were in trouble, and they have not heard from him. Sergeant Rob Flores says hours before the wreck, Fannin was with friends at a fishing camp. They said he left to head home to Beaumont. A bloodhound searched the surrounding area. Nothing. Given the, uh, the damage to the trucks, it looks like he could have sustained serious injury. So our big concern is to try to find him where he is to make sure he's okay. By 1130, the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office stepped in, searching for Fannin from the sky. Still nothing. Worried family and friends joined the hunt on four wheelers. Police officers did the same until the call came. Fannin had been found. With scratches and bruises on his face, he told police the result of a night spent in the woods. He's obviously injured, he's obviously tired, he's been in the woods all night, but he's safe. Fannin told police he went into the woods behind the pasture to take a shortcut home after the wreck. Slightly disoriented, he fell asleep. When he woke up, he walked to Walden Road, grabbed a drink, and stopped at a Sonic to call his father from a borrowed phone. Family members and the police met him at La Quinta Inn next door. He's covered in, in scratches and cuts like he's been running through the, the woods or maybe trying to get through some thick brush. An exhaustive effort with an ending made possible by family, friends, and law enforcement. All the energy we expend, obviously we do that to try to save a life. So, you know, is it worth the cost? Yes, it's always worth the cost to try to save somebody's life. Making for one happy reunion. In Beaumont, Justin Hinton, KFDM 6 News.